Oh boy, if you missed the last episode, did you miss a good one? That being said, after such a remarkable season, hopefully we build upon that with a great transfer window that happens today. Let's go ahead and get into the end of season review here. I hit the wrong button. There we are. As you see, there's there's the trophy. Us winning the league. Air Divisi is ours. Fantastic. I'm so happy about that. That was I mean, like, I knew we had done a lot of work this past offseason. You know, the last transfer special, uh, I think I said either in that or at the very start of the season that I felt that that was the first time we've actually made strides toward making our first team better. You know, we had kind of been putting Band-Aid fixes on the left wing and the right wing. Well, I went out and spent money and, and got some decent players. Obviously, they weren't the most consistent, and that being Cornelis and O'Neary. Uh, and then in the middle of the season, we have two huge sales, uh, two guys that was in our starting 11 most matches, you know, and uh, we brought in a player like Nestor after that that really, really helped out the side a lot. And uh, that being said, let's go ahead and get into the end of season review. Uh, I don't know who I think is going to be the uh, the player of the season. I think there's a couple of options that you can throw out there. Uh, and, and it's not your typical one because typically, you know, it's like an attacking player. I don't think we had an attacking player that was just fantastic. I think maybe you could throw in uh, Delgado. I think he was really, really solid this season. Uh, Tom Hay is another guy that I would give a shout at. Uh, I think just his his presence in the t in the team was was massive. And then uh, past that, maybe Bart Van Roy. Kind of don't really feel like that, but. Uh, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. Signing of the season has to be Nestor, I feel like. Even though he came in the middle of the season, that might be the one thing that holds him up. And then it may be cornerless after that. But I, I don't know. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, new arrivals, baby. We brought in some players. It was Nestor being the signing of the season. B minus on him. I really solid. Put out an average rating of 7.86. B minus on that. Rody was another good player. I kind of forgot we brought him in. Uh, a B plus. And, and the, the, the board loved it. I loved it. I thought Rody was fantastic. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely think we made an upgrade there. Uh, Marquez, a B for this one, 7.26. Advos, B minus 7.16. Happy to sign this guy. Dutch born player that we got on the disc, discounted price. I think he's going to be really solid. Cornelius, 1.5. Uh, really solid player as well. Done good. 10 goals, 11 assists. Uh, that's a pretty damn good season. Zamora came in uh, midway through the season. And. and he kind of established himself late. It was only a C plus on that one. Kind of surprised by that. Uh, Roneria B minus. Uh, the Jasper, I'll be real. He was he was trash, wasn't he? And Gata here we bring in. He made two sub appearances. Didn't get a ton ton done, but uh, a C plus for him. And then Azule a C for him. Uh, Azule is a weird one. I think he could have been better. You know, obviously we signed him because he was from Maccabi Tel Aviv, and, and I did like him. I think he's a good player. I think he can develop still into a really good player. It's just, it's just going to take time for him. He's not really ready for the first team yet. But uh, that being said, he was ha he had to be there for us. He had to be there for us. There we are, though. They're, they're thrilled with that. I mean, hell, how can you be any happier than that? Champions, baby. Conference League, they better be happy with that. We made it to the quarterfinal. Kind of I thought they'd make it a little bit higher than that. And then uh, the runner-up to the Dutch Cup. A 0 1 lost to Ajax. <laughs> oh, that was rough. All right, what happened here? Everything goes up, and that is that's amazing. Sponsorship up a good bit. Broadcast revenue. Corporate hospitality goes up. Look at that competition. Prize money. Making it into Europe helped out a ton. Match day revenue goes up as well. Uh, hey, Venema, Alvaro, Zamora, and Samari top selling kits. Yeah, I mean, I, I can see that. I mean, definitely, hey, he's been he's been the legend, you know. He's wore the number 20 kit since we've started this save, and he's he's just been that damn good, hasn't he? This is how we lined up. Mm. See two guys there that I miss already, my boy Chavi, and I miss Fleming, but I think we're fine without him. But, mm. How did he get on at Red Bull? How did he end up doing it at Salzburg? I mean... Is their season still going on? Because it doesn't seem like the, it is still going on. Or not going on. I'm sorry. It's over. Uh, didn't seem like they played him a ton, did it? So six times he was a sub. He mainly played as a sub for him. All right. Well, that's what it is. All right, here we go. Club Awards. Fans player of the season. Delgado. I said, you know, I gave him a shout. I thought that he had an opportunity to be that. 
Uh, he's also the young player of the season. Signing of the season, Nestor. Goal of the season goes to uh, Cornel Uh Top goal scorer, Venema. Most assist, Hay. Player of the match awards goes to Delgado, alongside highest average rating. And Mosinho, with most passes completed per 90 minutes. Delgado broke a record. Mike Snow broke a record. We spent the most money we've ever spent on Nestor. We sold the most. We sold a player for the most money we ever had with Chavi. And then uh, Mike Snow was the youngest goal scorer. This guy's going to be a, he's gonna be a legend for us. What about competition awards? Delgado does end up winning the uh, Dutch Young Player of the Season. And then Venema wins the, mm, mm, the old Willy Award. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. This word right here. Uh, one right here that one that one that one gets me yikes i don't i don't know how to say that <laughs> there we go in the season review is over it was a good one guys it was a really good one uh what about the best overall 11 so this is what we got a boy lucho where's he at now he is at Haravine. wow uh he is a good one he is trained at knack <laughs> so we could buy this guy if we wanted to i mean well, we could do it. I don't know if we're going to do it, but we, we, we could. I mean, they got a steal for him, didn't they? He was a good player. I liked him a lot. Uh, I agree with back four right now. I, I, obviously, Nestor's going to jump into that place at some point, uh, but he's just not quite there yet. In the midfield, I, I mean, I think you give a shout to Samari instead of Fleming. The wings uh, surprise me, really, on this right-hand side. Is more, I guess, I guess it makes sense because he's been here for a while. And Borman up top. Got him transfer listed. He was a good player for us in, the, in the, at his time. Uh, I thought he, he really helped us out, you know. Really solid right? I mean, 7.4. Comes up to the air to busy 7.55, baby. Goodness gracious. Cone had a hell of a player and uh, stopped using him. I mean, they used him here. When they got demoted, or relegated, demoted. When they got relegated, and then they just kind of stopped using him. It's kind of odd. Thought he was a really good player. Uh, what about all this other stuff? Mm -hmm. Can we uh, negotiate that? Can we get that off? Ah, let's go. So fine with that. Get the, get that out of here. Mm -hmm. Anything else we want to take a look at? We get another recruitment analyst. Guarantee you they ain't gonna give me another sports science because then they'll tell me, hey, 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 don't come bothering us about this crap anymore. Souls. All right, so uh, we got the end of season team meeting. What do they want us to do next year? Top half, reach the playoff of the Champions League. We qualified for the group stage, right? Pretty sure that's what happened. <laughs> get with it, board, <laughs> idiots. All right, so let's talk to him so we can get into the next day to see what our transfer budget is. Mm -hmm. Top half. That's what I want to hear. Okay, I, I didn't know what to say to that. I really didn't. We'll discuss promises later. Hey, y'all have a good one. We'll be back later. Good stuff there by the squad. Happy to, happy that they're happy. Before we send the day, you know, I mentioned in the last episode, right, that, that our reserve and under-18 team had a hell of a season as well, right? Right? I said that, right? I thought they won the league. I'm kind of confused. Did they win the league? I thought they did. I thought they won the league. Yeah, they did. They won the league this year again. <laughs> you know, no big deal. Winning the league there. And then our, our under-18s, they come in second. They had it won, and then they come in second. Last time I checked, they had they was beating IX. So, uh, you know, good, good, solid finishes by the squad all the way around. Happy about that. Uh, we want to take a look at some of these players as well. Uh, guys that we want to highlight, guys that we think might in, kind of get a little bit better, get get some more playing time. Uh, it, it's going to be tough for Advice, right? For him to get any playing time in the future with having Cornelis and Ismar in front of him, he is a guy that I will use quite a bit in the future. But uh, not 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 like a, a uh, he's not going to get a ton of playing time. Gata, 
I feel like this guy might get a little bit more playing time next season, just depending on Vanima. But if 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 not, well, he's going to be sitting here for a little bit as well. Uh, we've sold no no Diego. Uh, we know what to expect with him. He's he's a defensive player that we can use that I I, I do like. Bruno Kuhn, Kroon, I think he's going to be a guy that sits on this reserves team until we uh, until we get rid of uh, Vanima or somebody. Lino Cassiana. This is a guy that I really like. I. But he's in a he's in a he's in a tough spot, you know, like a really tough spot. We can play him in the central mid, but once again, it's in a tough spot, like a very he's in a very deep spot. Uh, this guy, I, I really liked him too, because like he he dominated in training. Like whenever we had him here, dominated in training, killed it in the matches. Just can't get him past that damn two star. Goodness gracious. Uh, Owen, you're kind of our third choice right back at this point, so that's good. I don't really ever have a plan on using Pierce Long just because, well, he's not going to be trained at club. There's no point in that. I uh, think O'Torque we've mentioned in the past, uh, not ready yet. So we don't really have anybody just excitingly ready uh, besides Gata. I feel Gata's ready, and uh, obviously we're not going to bring him up until, until something happens. I just don't see us using him, and it, he'd be more more useful down here. I mean, he's on the first team, but like you get what I'm saying, like in terms of taking him unavailable for the first team. Under 18s, how are we looking? There's there's some interesting guys. We got some names on this list too now, don't we? We got Donk, we got Dongo, <laughs> uh, the, the American himself, Chris Hutchins, still a one and a half star player. Uh, I feel we need to call him up to the first. Or goodness, when he when right when he gets around 18, we'll probably call him up to the uh, reserves team. See what he can do there. Uh, kind of want to make you unavailable for this team. I'm not sure why. Why? 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 Why are you? Why are you available? Not dealing with it. Not dealing with it. It's fine. He's on loan anyways. Uh, but guys, that also that's got really high potential that we want to take a look at. Omir, we brought this guy in. Uh, I think for free. Yeah, we did. Uh, I, I really like. Uh, Braden Volendam. They've got some really good youth players on amateur contracts. Uh, he's a guy that we need to develop. You know, a guy that needs to get going, getting better, and uh, seeing what he can do. But these are the high potential guys that we have on our reserve side right now. Obviously, there's some other guys that I like here that we can use. Uh, some guys that came through our youth system. And uh, that being Hovenkamp, dude's got to develop. He just hasn't developed. You know, some of them just hadn't developed. And as you can see, they're on loan, though, so that maybe they'll get, get going a little bit. Uh, maybe some of these guys will end up going to our new affiliate as well and uh, playing in the Croatian League to see if they can develop there in the top flight. That would be that'd be pretty nice. But we want to take a look also. We're, we're done with that. We want to take a look at expiring contracts, okay? Looks pretty good. I don't have anybody's contract expiring at the end of next season. Or at the end of this, yeah, at the end of next season. Uh, guys that we want to sell, though, I want to sell Jasper. Uh, it, it's It's time to move on. He hasn't really lived up to anything. Uh, Tom wants to leave the club. That's fine. You can get the fuck out then. Uh, not really interested in you. Uh, Ismar is wanted. Gata is wanted by on loan. And Samari wanted on loan as well. So we don't have a ton of guys that are wanted. But this guy right here is the guy that is in question. He really is in question to me at this point. Because uh, Alvaro came on strong at the end of the season. I thought he played really, really well. Uh, it'd be tough on Vanima because last season had 28 goals. This season obviously doesn't have as many appearances, but only puts out seven goals. So you don't know. You never know. You never know what I might do because, like, at a certain point in this kind of save, right, obviously I feel like Tom Hayes different. Tom Hayes our captain. He's 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 just a good player that I don't think we can replace at this point. But at a certain time in these kind of saves where you're trying to do the youth development, kind of got to sell some of these veteran guys when these other youngsters are getting really, really, really close to jumping them. And I feel we're there. You know, Alvaro's sitting at two and a half star, right? He's making almost as much money as Vanilla. You got to start considering it, right? We got Gata on the bench. I probably won't make a change at striker behind, behind him because we got, like I said, we got Gata, who I think is he's a two and a half star player. We're going to have to start using him. He's a good player. Uh, we've got Kroon as well, who I'll call up. 
more than likely Ismar can slot up top as well. Cornelis can do the same thing. We've got plenty of options at striker. See what you think about. It. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's take a look at this as well. I know you're probably sitting pretty dang high in the dynamics, ain't you? Yeah, highly influential. Huh. That's tough. That's tough. I would like to move on from him. I really would, but. I'm doing it. Doing it. He might not like it, but I'm doing it. Okay. I mean, he's a good player. He really is. But like, like I said, like the issue is, is like if he was, you know, a squad level player, that's fine. I'm an important player. You know, and if I can get that much money for him, we'll do that all day long, baby. Uh, what do we want to do this offseason? I, I really, really don't know, guys. Um, this kind of save, it's, it's, it's different than most saves where – where you just try to grab what you can get. You know, like you find a young player that you you somewhat like, you think he has decent potential that can help out your squad or he can help out the reserve teams um, and, and hopefully develop at your side. You you grab those guys up and that's that's basically worth what you do. You know, it's 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 harder than than most. That's why we've played players in the past, you know, like uh like, uh, what's his name? The guy from Maccabi Tel Aviv, Azule. You know, Azule's not ready for this side, but we, we've had a play because we, we didn't really find another right wing at a decent price. You know, we've had it even train him over there, and he's done a good job. But that being said, I would like to maybe find another right wing option. That's something we could do with Tom being transfer listed. Uh, I would like to find a backup goalkeeper, a young backup goalkeeper, or another uh, a Dutch-born guy that's a veteran presence that we can bring in as a backup that knows he's a backup, unlike Jasper, who complains all about air damn thing. You know, that'd be nice. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And then, obviously, I want to bring in youngsters. You know that's going to mean that I'm going to bring in a midfield player. It's going to happen. It always does. I don't try to. It's just something that somehow it always happens. I, I, I don't know. So we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, just send that to my inbox. I'll talk. I'll, I'll take care of that later. We won't get to the next day and see what we get money wise and see how pissed off Anima's been. It's not bad. That's actually a decent transfer budget for us. No, I, I get them confused every dang time. It's not a very big transfer budget for us, is it? Five point seven eight. Trans the the payroll seems decent, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean it's it's not a ton. Don't get me wrong. But I, I mean, like, I understand, like, we don't have a ton in the bank. Uh, I would I would really like to see that get bumped up a little bit more. But I can't really do much in terms of payroll because there's not a lot of wiggle room, my dudes. We got, we got, hey, oh. did, that, did that generate any interest in you, Vanima? I said, no, no, no interest in him. Okay, that's fine. Maybe we'll get him sold. Maybe, obviously, like, we're one of those clubs that we have to sell to bring players in. And uh, yeah, that that's that's a bit tough. I was hoping for a little bit more than five point seven eight. I'm pretty sure. Did we have any left after the two sales? We may have. We may have not. I I don't remember to be honest with you. Uh, club vision wise, the training facilities have been done. We're still working on the new grounds. Twenty twenty eight on that. I did want to take a look because there was something weird. Like when it said the the training facilities, it said we had to take out a fifty two million dollar loan to do it. Say what? I'm not going to touch that anymore. So we got the $52 million loan that's on the stadium. That's it, right? Don't see anything else. That's the bank loan for the stadium, not the training facilities. I think. That being said, I'm going to ask for something else. <laughs> I want all this to be five stars. I, I really think it needs to be youth facilities, though. Build a new ground. We are building a new ground. Can I not ask for anything? Well, fine. I literally can't ask for anything, can I? Well, that's a bit frustrating. Well, now that the domestic transfer window is opened, we have signed a new player uh, for free, uh, a two-star player in Rick Bogey here. Looks to be a pretty solid player, uh, number 10 coming in, but he'll be training as a central mid for us. Got him from Rota. 
you know, we continue to raid the lower division and find some of these guys that's contracts are expiring or on amateur contracts. And it seems they've worked out pretty good for us. Uh, I, I do like this kid. He's got some good first touch. Um, I mean, he's got some good technical abilities just in general. Like his, his uh, first touch, as I mentioned, is finishing, dribbling, passing looks good technique, good vision on this kid, good flair, determination looks solid. Just a well overall player that I do like. I think he's going to uh, end up being a, a solid piece for us in the future, maybe. Uh, that would be uh, very nice. Uh, train you as a Mazala. How about that? Can you do that for us? And then Hamburg. Interested in signing Samari for six mil. Still a bit lower than what I would like, but they are interested in him. We do have a couple other players that we have mentioned before that are wanted. Uh, Jasper is wanted by a couple of clubs, so that would be nice to sell him. We could bring in another backup goalkeep. Uh, there was another guy, so uh, Samari... Uh, Stojanovic is wanted by uh, Ghent in 20, so I, I think, like, I don't know, like, Stojanovic is one of those guys that he hasn't really developed. He's on a decently high salary, so I wouldn't mind selling him, and, and we can use some of our other players. As you can see, he's in the top there, so we overpay him quite a bit. Uh, so wouldn't be disappointed if we sell him. But that being said, uh, the tra transfer window, I've got some stuff coming in uh, when the actual transfer window opens up. So that's nice. And and we still can't make any requests, which is odd. So I guess the board is blocking that, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. I'm not sure. It's kind of disappointing if they are. I mean, we would like to be able to, you know, do some stuff. That would be, that would be very nice. But unfortunately for us, we haven't been able to... Uh, as I mentioned, I think this kid's going to be pretty good, though. I, I do like him a lot. He's going to sit on our reserve team for a little bit and see if he develops into anything and uh, maybe move forward with him. I don't know. Well, I have never had my scouts do so poorly on a guy. Uh, looked at this guy. He was a two-and-a-half-star guy by our scouts. Like four- or five-star potential. Just could sign him for free. Hell yeah, sign me up. Sign him? Yeah, he's nowhere near that. I, I, I am disappointed. We're going to get into him in a little bit. But we did bring in three players. Um, the big signing is Tiago Henrique here. Uh, he's going to be a left back for us. He's a two-and-a-half-star player right now. Uh, we did spend a little bit of money to bring him in 1.4 mil. But I really like this guy. He's got good crossing. He's probably one of the better guys that I've seen at crossing for our, our level of uh, club and what we're able to bring in with the restrictions that we've brought in. And uh, he's quick. I like this guy a lot. Good work rate. Really good work rate. Uh, teamwork looks solid. Uh, I think he's really going to challenge Salazar on that left-hand side to be the backup to Patrick. And, uh, yeah, really, really excited about this signing. I think he's going to be a really solid player. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this guy. Uh, before we get into the next guy, I think one thing we have to say is uh, – I don't know how much business is going to get done in terms of, of quality to the first team unless we sell players because uh, I don't have a ton of spots available for guys. So I think it's going to be a bunch of these guys that we sign that that might eventually turn into something for us in the future. I'm just not not certain, really, because I don't have a ton of money in the guys that, that we could bring in that might could help out now. And even some of the youth prospects, they're, they're wanting a decent chunk of money for them around a meal. So... When we only have around that much in the bank, it's kind of hard to offer that to youth prospects. But you might as well spend the money while you have it, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure yet. It, it's it's a bit much. Uh, we also bring in Nico Le Valuch. I'm gonna call him Le Nico. We're just he's Nico. That's it. That's his name. Okay. We'll take a look at him in a second because that that name is that name is a bit much for me. Okay. There you go, Nico. You got a new name in the game. Uh, he's a winger option. Uh, left wing, uh, I, I might would play him on the right-hand side or even in the central mid. He looks pretty solid there as well. Um, yeah, he looks good. Good vision, good work rate, passing looks solid, technique, first touch. Uh, really good young player. Excited about him. The Belarusian. Belarusian. I, I struggled through that one. 195K for him. And then here we go. Where are the scouts really messed up? And Laureant, uh, he's a one-and-a-half-star player, three-star potential that we signed for free. Uh, yeah, way to go, scouts. Uh, wouldn't have signed him. Would not have signed this guy. But what's been done has been done. I mean, he's okay. He's got decent player. He'll be a, a good option for the reserve team. Not really going to go into too much detail on him because, like I said, I just don't really plan on 
playing him that much. Uh, no, no has left the club now. Uh, I feel bad, man. I wish we would have got him a year sooner because he's a good goalkeeper. He would have been a real good prospect for us. Uh, I have been trying to offer out Pierre along. Uh, I may just go ahead and take an offer to get him off our uh, team because he can't be homegrown. Uh, it's just tough when you see transfer value of one meal and then you get this right here. It's like, I don't know about that. And then Patrick's got an offer. But the good thing about it is he doesn't want to join the club. So Hamburg, you can go on. Get on out of here. Get, get, just get on. We, don't, we, ain't, we ain't selling him for that kind of price. I haven't actually checked the players that are wanted in a hot minute, probably since the last time. Okay, so Tom's wanted on the loan. That's no big deal. Uh, Venema's still not wanted. Jasper wanted by a couple clubs now. No offers for him yet. Might have to start offering him out a little bit. Uh, Ismar still wanted. On, okay, now it's just loan, so no interest in him, really. Patrick, we've mentioned being wanted. Uh, I believe Mosinho's wanted on loan. Stojanovic wanted still by one club. Wouldn't mind selling him. Like I said, I wouldn't mind selling him. I wonder what he would say if we transfer to list him and, you know, just 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 to test the waters a little bit, you know, see what happens. I wouldn't mind selling him. What, 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 what would he do? What do you think? What do you think about him? Okay, he doesn't have any interest in leaving because he just signed a new contract this past season. That, I mean, that makes sense. Uh, we are going to offer Jasper out now. Uh, I'm not going to put any money on it because, you know, it is what it is. He wants to leave the club. We could bring in a backup goalkeeper. Not really worried about that. But I just don't see a ton of movement. I really don't. I don't see a ton of movement in our players this offseason, which means there's not a lot of room in the first team. Our first team's pretty solid. I'm, I'm happy with what we have here. I'm happy with the guys that are backups because I think they have a lot of potential. I think they can really, really do something for us. Uh, it's just it's a little, little bit weird. Uh, we may try getting another right back. That wouldn't hurt to maybe try to take over for Hotek, but Hotek was good last season. I mean, it'd be kind of hard to hard to do that to the young fellow when he was when he was decent. Salazar still wanted by Camber. Hey, Camber, if you want if you want to pay the money for him, I mean, that's fine. But you're gonna have to pay the money for him. How much did we sign Salazar for? I feel like we signed him for 62k so hardly anything that's that's nice haven't seen one of those in a while haven't seen one of those in quite some time i, I really do i want to bring in some youngsters i do i think we need to uh i need to actually take a look at the the reserve team and the under 18 or mainly the reserve team and see uh where the holes is in that squad that way we have some backups for the future you know uh it, it's it's it is kind of crazy i am trying to bring in one more player though that's not came through yet uh i think he'll be a solid option as well signing him pretty cheap too so you know i do it like a bargain hunting maybe we can get him in well one more signing later and i am i'm, I'm pleased with this kid i think it's uh it, it's one of those things where it's going to take a little bit of time to get him where we need him to but he is five star potential we signed him really cheap wesley uh, a two-star center back, five-star potential, Brazilian-born. Uh, looks pretty solid. I mean, uh, I would like him to be a little bit taller, but I think he's pretty good. Uh, we'll have to see how he develops, really, I mean, to know for sure. But uh, we signed him super cheap, you know, 37.5K. Really broke the bank on that one, didn't we? I do think he'll be a decent player for us. So, uh that, that's good news. And an, another bit of good news that I'm really excited about, signed a, a scout that can, speak, that can speak Portuguese. I can't speak English today. Goodness gracious. So we're going to send him straight to Brazil, get him scouting for some hot prospects. Hopefully we can find somebody that can come in. Uh, I am trying to bring in another right wing. I will go ahead and show him off to you. Christian here uh, looks, I mean, he looks okay, doesn't he? I mean, nothing fantastic. He's from Ajax. You're probably thinking, well, Brackies. He's Danish. That that kind of breaks the rules. Oh, 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 don't, no, no, no. He's trained in the Netherlands. So, covered my bases on that one. Don't worry. Okay, I got it. I really was interested in this guy right here as well. Uh, a two-star player, five-star potential. 16-year-old from Brazil. Uh, his compensation's 550. But, I think... I'm a bit confused by this. So if we offer him a contract now, it goes through 
think he would already turn 19. So I'm kind of hesitant on doing that. So um, math, not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing the math for it. But I, I was interested in him. But I don't know. It's either that or spend 2.2 mil to get him. I've done the, the, uh, the, this right here. And yikes. Yikes. That's a bit more than what I want to pay for the youngster, really. I mean, I just don't see paying that. I don't see paying that for him. I think we can, I'd rather spend it somewhere else. But uh, the squad, I mean, it's coming along okay. We've accepted offers for Jasper. Uh, one mil is what it looks like it's going to end up being going to Dynamo Zagreb, which wouldn't be disappointed selling him in that. In that case, we'd have to be bringing in us another backup goalkeeper. And I have a guy in mind, I think, that might can do the job. He's not great. So uh, when we, if we do bring him in, if this goes through, I'll highlight him, but it won't be won't be much looking at where we're at right now i mean we're still not even rolled over so we've done some business uh business has been done we've stojanovich is still wanted but no offers have came in for him so i'm not certain if anything will i would i would bring in another center mid if if we did sell him uh it, it would be nice i think because i think zamora and snow have kind of surpassed him already you know and uh He's, he's potentially four-star, but it looks like it's more along the lines of three-star. So I don't think that's going to get done. But yeah, it's it's like I said, I didn't expect a ton of big transfers this season, right? We signed, we re-signed all of our players this uh, past season. So I didn't expect really a lot to get done in terms of uh, incoming players unless players leave the club. And it doesn't look like that's really going to be the case as of the now. Uh, we haven't had really really any offers that's been makes you think you know it's it's been one of those off seasons where just just not a whole lot happens and i'm not really disappointed in that because the sides the side's very solid as it is so uh we'll see how it goes Ooh, have i been busy i went we went and done a little bit different this time uh instead of it being so back to back to back as many cuts i, I decided what we would do is is try to limit those so i've signed quite a few players we've sold two players uh some stuff has happened but before we get into those i really wanted to show you guys this guy because i really liked him mustafa amala amalel amalel uh I tried signing him i don't need him but i liked him a lot <laughs> no surprise to you another center mid but uh he was a three-star player five-star potential dutch born that uh he played for the uh, Venlo and uh, he had a pretty pre cheap price tag, like three mil, I think, was what it was. Hey, apparently it was different than three. Mil. Okay, yeah, there it is. Transfer may eventually rise to three point four. Uh, yeah, we, we wasn't able to bring him in. He went to PSV Eindhoven. Kind of sucked, but we did bring in some other players. And, and as I mentioned, this transfer special has been weird. We're not really bringing in a ton of big name guys in, in terms of. Hey, these guys are going to slot right into the first team. They're going to play. No, these these this transfer special has been mainly youth prospects, and it continues to be that way. But uh, in terms of outgoing players, we have sold two. Pierce Long, you know the 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 I think he's Irish, isn't he? He has left to go to Bristol City, and uh, I'm surprised we got 400k from him. I was wasn't disappointed. Brought him in for free. Uh, sold him back to the championship for 400k. Played for Luton, and uh, now at Bristol City. So good business. Jasper, we sold to Dynamo Zagreb from one point mil. One mil. We mentioned this earlier. We thought this was what was going to happen. We made a profit off of him. Uh, I don't know how he got that rating, but it, it didn't work out that way for us. But he leaves the club, so not disappointed in that. We have brought in, like I mentioned, a couple players. You see three there. There's four that we brought in. We mentioned Christian Rasmussen uh, earlier from Ajax. We purchased him for 675k. Uh, he's going to be a backup right wing. I think he's going to slot in over Azule uh, and directly behind that other guy that I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm not struggling remembering his name. No, oh, definitely not. It's not Cornelis. It's Roneri. Uh, looks pretty solid. I mean, he's not like great by any means, but he'll do the job. Yeah, Christian Rasmussen, do believe he's going to be a solid depth piece for us. Uh, he's one of the very few guys that we've brought in this season that's actually going to play for the first team. Uh, then we bring in Adam Lewis for from a free transfer. Uh, he's a one-and-a-half-star player right now, five-star potential Welch-born player. Uh, 
I signed him. He's one of those guys like like you know how it is, right? You're managing outside of England. Any time that you can get an English play, or player that's trained in England super cheap, you sign him. Kind of like what we did with Pierce Long. Signed him for free, sold him for 400 k You do that every single time. And that's that's what I'm thinking here with this guy. But this guy could actually be trained in Nation. Uh, formerly of Chelsea. Uh, I mean, you know, good teamwork, good determination, good young player. You know, he, he's just got to develop a little bit. And hopefully he can do that here with us and we can sell him for a decent profit in the future. Uh, Benjamin Van Leer comes in. This guy is going to be our backup goalkeeper. So he's not a very, a very sexy pickup but it is what it is 600 or we spent 60k on him he was my second choice guy actually uh the other guy was a free transfer i uh, ended up signing with somebody else i can't remember who it was so i had to resort to my second choice which was van leer we purchased him for 60k uh, a two and a half star player that's uh three two and a half star potential i mean looks to be a really solid experienced backup goalkeep he was formerly of sparta played for them a couple times um not last season, but the year before that in the Eredivisie. But he's been around for a while. He's He even played for us a couple of years ago on loan when we was in the Eredivisie. Didn't know that. Just, but uh, like I said, looks looks okay. And then we bring in who? Dravko Yeah. Dravko. I mean, that's that's what I'm naming you. you, you you've got the name of Dravko. <laughs> <laughs> he's a right wing option uh that i think we honestly have him training to play on the left hand side we do have him training to play on the left hand side he can kind of play there already in in terms of like the midfield but i want him to play a little bit further up pitch I believe he can do that he's a fairly determined player good agility good pace got the speed to get up and down the pitch uh good crossing good dribbling uh, just yeah just another solid depth piece that we've brought into the, our reserve side that's where we stand that's where we stand right now we still have money to spend though right four mil in the transfer budget i don't think we're going to get anywhere near that this season uh unless we sell a player and we purchase a really big name guy I just i just don't see it happen i really don't we, we've brought in a lot of youth prospects this season and i think it's worked out i really do i'm not disappointed in what we've done i want to take a look at the side Okay, so Wesley, I mean, I think he's like a fringe player. Yeah, he is. He's a fringe level player, but I think he's going to go to the reserves. <laughs> I don't think he's ready for first team football. really wish we could sell Tom. I really wish we could sell Tom. We haven't been fortunate enough to do that. Uh, Stojanovic took off the transfer list. He, he lost interest. Uh, now there's interest in him again. Salazar still interest from Camber there. Uh, Gata still interest in loans, which we're not really interested. Henrique's loanee. And uh, Samari still haven't got an offer for him. So, yeah, it, it's pretty pretty quiet on the front. Pretty quiet on the front. Nobody wants to pay for Vanima, which does suck. Does suck. I would I would like to move on from him, but I haven't been able to find anybody that's interested. Uh, preseason just has started. We are in America making our rounds, trying to see if there's anything. Uh, it looks like we are going to be playing a, a supporters shield kind of thing here uh against ix i'm guessing since they won the cup and we won the league uh looks like we're, we might i don't know do we play them on screen i don't know it's the first time we've ever played it but it's one of those ones that i'm like just don't really care about and it's when does that happen like okay let's look at this So on the 8th, yeah, we could do that. I think we can play that in the first episode. And then uh, Feyenoord after that. So those two will be our first two matches in the next episode. I think we'll end the, the transfer special here. Obviously, it's a little sooner than what I want to, but I believe that's what we're going to do. Well, it is about time for this transfer special to end. And we're not really close to the start of the season. There's still some time. So tomorrow's episode, which is going to be the first two matches of the season, is going to include some transfer stuff as well, uh, just because we want to play this match against Ajax on screen. Uh, I, I don't think in the future we'll play this match, uh, but that being at the first time, we kind of want to see what it's like. You know, we just want to go in there, have fun. But uh, some stuff has happened, and I'm a little bit disappointed in Patrick. <laughs> a little bit disappointed. West Brom came in. Met his his release clause of thirteen point five, and he rejected them. So it's like that would have been nice. That would have been nice to have that money. You know, like I really, really would have liked it. 
Uh, I have accepted a bid for Samari. Uh, I, I don't really want to, but there's some stuff that's happening backstage that we don't want to discuss. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to milk this offer a little bit more, but nobody else has came in. Uh, but there's there's kind of some backstage stuff that's happening that I don't want to go over just yet. Uh, that the GM is actually trying to pull off, it. not not me. So uh, I'm trying to prepare for that, you know. Uh, so that being said, Samari, we have accepted an offer for him. Uh, Tom's actually won finally, but no bids, no bids. It's just it's no bids ever. We never get any bids. So Janovich is still wanted, uh, but not really meeting our our price tag for him. And uh, yeah, it's it's been kind of slow go. I believe that we are. We're close to being done. I am going to. Okay, well, good. I don't have to cut that out. You guys seen that offer already. Uh, I don't believe anything else has happened. We have loaned out like just a bunch of players, a bunch of our youth prospects. Uh, Brendan Habracken, uh, you may remember him. He was one of the guys that we poached from Bowling Dam from our fee. He's gone out on loan. Ruben Logs goes out to one of our affiliate alongside Jasper Higgy, uh, a guy that was kind of a, a fourth choice goalkeep for us. Thomas Hovenkamp. Omir, Errol, another one of those Bowling Dam players. Wesley Cole, Coy all go to our affiliate. Uh, one, one Castillo leaves and goes to Molda for a free, and then one other guy goes out on loan to our affiliate. Uh, just trying to get these guys some playing times. They're guys with high potential. Uh, we want to see what they can do. And I noticed also, guys, right, I could ask for stuff again. So we're going to ask to get that, that youth facilities bumped on up. I want to, I want I want everything to be good, you know, and uh, I can't see because we're we're there we're we're at the day, you know, which is kind of tough. Let's go ahead and pick our lineup for the first match of the season. Going up against Ajax in this, uh, I guess it's like a supporter shield type of thing. I'm not I'm not sure to be honest with you guys. And honestly, that would be the lineup that I was going to put out right there. I like that lineup a lot. Alvaro up top, he kind of he's kind of jumped over. Um, the other guy, Hackney, Vanima. He's, he's, I think he's better than Vanima at this point. Who do we want on our bench? Uh, I would say Rasmussen, but he's a little bit banged up, not ready to play. So Owen's going to get. No, he's not. We, we've already got the the thing. It's it's ready. I want Tiago Henrique on the bench. I want Henrique take place of Salazar. Right. I think we do that. Uh, this is good. We've actually got a pretty solid side, but I think this is what we're going to put out tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have Debor and go back for Van Roy, Nestor, Delgado, and Patrick in the midfield. Hey, Samaria, some more right hand side, Ranieri, left hand side, cornerless up top. It's Al Vero. And there we have it, guys. Another transfer special down in the books. But before we get out, we want to see where are we projected to finish this season? We've always outperformed, haven't we? Seventh place that we are slowly starting to climb up that a little bit. And it kind of makes me wonder, like, is it, is it the, the, our reputation, the team, what's, what's getting better here? But we are rising that up a little bit, which is nice. I also want to look at, uh, can we look at like, I know there's a way to look at it, but I was wanting to look at, uh, Like the 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 money that that's came into the clubs, you know. Uh, I know there's a way to do it, but I'm gonna be real with you guys. I really don't know how to do it. Okay, so that ain't it. That's not it either. I was hoping this might have it, but it doesn't. Team detail, player overview. Just, just not there. Sponsorship income? I mean, that's not what I'm looking for. Good grief, we're down at the bottom of that as well. I'm trying to think, would it be under finances? Maybe? Income? Uh-uh. Summary? Salary? This just looks like it's ours, doesn't it? It's a bit disappointing. I really wanted to see that. Uh, I'll try to figure it out off screen, and we'll take a take a gander at it and see where we line up with the rest of the clubs. Because I feel like we're kind of bottom, you know, bottom table of that. That's we need to get better at that. Well, there we have it. As you can see, it's a new day for me. It got late last night recording this transfer special, but I think we've done good.
uh, obviously it's not over yet, so the jury is still out on that one. If you enjoyed this episode, though, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.